Blade Sworn. Gun blades. Advances in Canton technology mm. have yielded a fusion of I'm firearm ready for this. and long Yeah, this, this could be big. The this could be very Only big. Only a dedicated, highly trained warrior <laughs> can saber. handle such a volatile weapon. Gun saber attacks enhance the Blade Sworn's flow, allowing them to use their meditative dragon trigger. Dragon In this state trigger. of calm and concentration, they can load their gun saber with magically imbued cartridges that power up their attacks. With their gun saber sheathed, they wield offhand pistols to maintain their flow. Ooh. It wasn't with all these abilities that push you back. Like the Ellie has ability too, right? When you use it, it knocks you back. The pistol like knocks you back when you use it. They fall off uh, counter cliffs. They really like. Rifle 4, the old Yeah, old NG Rifle 4. All right, we are going to get into the Blade Sworn, but I do want to call out first that Indigo just got a text. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom just texted me pictures of water bottles, so I think yeah. this is widespread. <laughs> she's no. watching and she just like, texted <laughs> Indigo a picture of it's she's got water bottles parents. lined up in front of her monitor, so we're all, we're all getting into Pretty it. Pretty soon it'll be a prepared. Facebook I'm meme good. that yeah. your aunt I'm sends you. Yay. All right. So <laughs> this cat drink. with the water bottle. Hang on, Cal's getting a drink. But then we will talk about the blade swarm. It's time to hydrate. Yeah, time, to hydrate. Get some... time to hydrate. He gets a break. I don't think we actually have an emote for hydration in chat. But... <gasps> we should. Well, we should. Now. Somebody Somebody Twitch chat probably knows. There's probably one I'm not thinking of. So. No, let's get art on this. They have time. They have time. They yeah. don't. <laughs> All right, Dude, there it is. Check. CMC makes the hydration meme. I don't think so. Um, Indigo first. I'm sorry, I got excited about your text, and <laughs> I was just like, no. I went. We're awake on this Friday, so the Blades Horn oh is a really, really fun class, um, and our warrior fans will be happy to know that it's just as vicious as you would expect. Um, the Blades wow, no Horn support. now, with the aid of their new offhand pistol, has the ability to use a really unique, advanced form of technology called the gun saber, and the gun saber is this. Do you really need a pistol? I don't think you need a pistol to use it, like though, right? That would be super weird. No, you can. And no way. Sword. Um, Never done an elite spec and what it has is, is yeah, yeah, specially yeah. crafted like. amber bullets. <clears throat> and the amber, amber is mined in the heart of Echowold Forest, um, which we'll learn about a little bit more later, too. Um, and it's a proud uh, Kurzic tradition. If they were a new weapon swap, I'm going to love. So, of course, they would make something really <laughs> cool. I mean, sure. like, it's just, why not? They might do, yeah. Maybe they would. But amber is also a really delicate resource. But hey, at least you won't really have to take discipline anymore, I guess. To handle too. <laughs> so the blade still horn have to. is <laughs> often balancing between managing its ammo and managing its use of the gun itself and jumping back and forth, which Cal will get into a little bit more here in a moment. But um, that kind of interplay in the heart of the, the, the class itself is really rich with lore and those thematics of the forest. So I'm excited to hear more. The forest? Oh, please. The All tree right, warrior. let's do it. This is the oh, blade sworn. So currently got the gun saber. That looks cool. Uh, kind of gun saber activated. It's like fire on them. Like you charge skills, up, then you have a certain number of bullets. Of pistol. We got this super cool. The UI looks saber. really cool. We'll definitely talk about the pistol in a little bit. But we're gonna start out. Try with the gun Wait, saber. What we'll is talk this actually? The mechanic Wait, what is this? Well. It's like a weapon. Um, so first things first. Whole weapon is the, the gun, gun saber. saber is kind of a little bit yeah. different from a lot of the. It's like a perma kit. It's like a perma uh, kit. Yeah. Kind of extra kits what that we've the seen hell? In the past, stuff like celestial avatar, any sort of death shroud, or like photon forge, for example. These are all kind of gated behind some sort of resource. And he still has weapon swap. The gun saber is not. It is just effectively a separate weapon. And so one of the trade-offs for this character is that while you're in combat, your weapon oh. swap is actually going to be disabled. Oh. 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 Your secondary weapon is always the gun saber. Uh, yeah, you'll you still always have the gun saber. That's cool. Cool. That, that is cool, actually. That is cool. Before you engage with something, so you might want to have a rifle for some fights. You might want to have, say, a greatsword for some other yeah. fights. Make sure you don't want rifle for any fights. Before you actually <laughs> engage combat. Well, now you have, gun, down, you have the a gun saber. You're going to be able to swap between your active weapon Trade and Trade-offs. Uh, we'll talk about the skills in a minute here. I'm going to talk a little bit more about how adrenaline is different for this character. Then we're going to talk about the burst skill for this character, because that's a super exciting part of this. Ooh. Uh, but starting off, we're going to see that, uh, so one thing is here, we've renamed Adrenaline to Flow, and that's partially just because this it's a little big. bit different in terms of how it's Very built. Very different. Can see Huge mechanical this changes. Not getting any flow. So that's one kind of separation. It's enough of a mechanical difference that we wanted to change the name uh, to kind of avoid confusion and kind of just more thematic to this character, which is a little bit more calculated, a little bit more almost meditative compared to something like... Okay. Even Core Warrior, or just Berserker, which is kind of that super aggressive, all-in bursty character. This is a lot more um, kind of deliberate in his in his decisions. So once you actually enter combat, I'm currently cheating and not able to get into combat. But once you get into combat, you'll see. All right, I'm starting to build flow because I have this buff okay. that says positive flow. 
And we'll see some other ways to get access to this buff in higher, higher stacks. Obviously, there's still some warrior skills that just give you flat adrenaline, some traits that give you flat adrenaline. Uh, some of these things have been modified to fit into the flow system, where some of them will give, actually give you increased flow rate instead of a flat adrenaline boost, as they have in the past for Core Warrior or other Warrior specializations. They've gone hard but on this one. some of them will They've gone hard as hell to give those flat values. We kind of uh, went through the list and decided, okay, this one makes sense as kind of that uh, more built over time mechanic, okay. and then some of these well, things will be more max. just to fit with the theme, either the trait line or the skill or whatever. Uh, so here you see positive flows building up. Eventually, I'm going to get to 100. This will go a little bit faster as you use some of the utility skills or the traits that give you access to more flow. But once you here get to... Oh, another thing to note here. This goes up to 100 because it's kind of similar with the Revenant thing. Uh, 100 is a lot cooler than 30. It's about 70. 70 higher. We did some impressive math on this one as well. <laughs> and confirmed that 100 is just a much more powerful number to have access to than 30. 100. <laughs> Let's so go. Key, key balance decisions being made. We hired an accountant for that. <laughs> uh, so once you have access to, I mean, any amount button. of flow here, we actually need like 10. Oh, you know, shit. Similar to burst limits on Core Warrior. Once you have enough flow, you can enter what we're calling Dragon Trigger. Ooh, I'm excited. Dude. I'm so ready to use a Dragon it. Trigger here. Oh. You kind of get into this prepared oh stance, and you're ready to draw and unleash the power of the Gun Saber. The, oh. And so you see, it took about five seconds to fully charge all these of his charges. charges. It's going to drain every half second. It'll drain ten to, and build up to that maximum of over five, uh, five seconds of maximum okay. damage. And this is really going to allow you, there's going to be three different flavors of Dragon Slash. We'll start with the most powerful one. Okay. Did you say flavors? I did three say flavors. flavors. Cool. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I like uh, that. Flavor. <laughs> That's a word. Uh, yes. So I'm going to cheat real quick and give myself guaranteed critical hit so we can really show off how much Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, do yeah. Because we love. Give the golden house. Give us the right, big chat. crit. What do you think? What do you think? We're uh, charging this ability for like 10 seconds, right? Or five seconds, sorry. But Let's we see built how up much a lot damage. Of oh my god, how much All right, is I got my be? vision sigil from a out of nowhere. Impressive. <laughs> wow. uh, but let's see how much damage this skill is actually going to do when I guarantee 100k? Crit. Remember this is 200K? a heavy golem. 200k? So 200k. 200k. Not, not an ambient creature. We're not going to do any nonsensical things there. But all right, we're going to unleash Dragon Stan or Here Dragon Slash Force. So that's about, uh, okay, that actually did uh, 25,000 damage. That's actually uh, way too low. Yeah, he has no, and yeah, I actually he has no fucking gear on, dude. Wait, where oh I don't have to gear equipped and also have traits. That? So <laughs> real quick, <laughs> let's uh, get a real number in here. Swap over to this little Berserker. That's not Berserker, but we'll deal with it. Uh, one second. <laughs> dude, Sims, he's actually trolling, dude. better gear here. Whoa, wait, quick. what is he doing? This guy will come back, re-equip this guy. The deception of the outfit. Put on some <laughs> traits. Uh, yeah, let's activate this. Out of combat. I don't know oh, if I'd recommend go. this build. This is just some damage multipliers in here. Oh, he's traits leaked. If we really traits wanted leaked. to go crazy, he'd probably equip Warrior's Cunning, but no one takes that trait. That's not realistic. It's only going to be against <laughs> high, high health targets anyway. I see <laughs> the five signets most important. Mo yeah, most five important signets. Is the warrior That's build big. here. Um, so let's just uh, build some adrenaline real quick. Hop in here. Get into combat. I'm also okay, going to cheat again here we go. real fast and give myself some offensive buffs that CMC some is players God, might by be the familiar with. What a presenter. With. What a gamer. Because we're just going to get some he's quality damage numbers coming out here. Give me the might. Oh, All right. he's so buffed up. Buffs. This yeah. guy has 25 volts. Benchmark. Has triple in there because I have leg specials. Here we go. Not. Realistic so benchmark. Maximum, maximum charge. Dragon oh, my slash. God. Uh, got all these buffs. We got like Frost. He's got everything. Here, Assassin's Presence, right. Peak Performance. <laughs> That's the uh, Bladesworn Grandmaster damage trade. We've got some banners. They're around here somewhere, oh. I'm sure. Um, oh. but let's see. All right. Now let's see how much damage this skill is going to do. Does anyone have any? I can't even see the chat, so I'm just, you know, I was watching the chat. And one what, if like close. what if it's like a million? What if it's a million damage? So, let's see, uh, no, let's see what we get here. It's not going to be a million. Off. Uh, what, 100k? We're gonna 300k! 300 k <laughs> Wait a second, wait a second. So while Gorsival is uh, invulnerable and everyone else is killing the ads, you can just sit there charging that up so that when uh, Gorsival really comes vulnerable, sure you one phase him? Is Twitch chat going a little bit yeah, crazy? Yeah, they just yeah. flipped. 350,000? Is that number high? I mean, it's not that high. Heavy armor target. 372! There you go. Better weapon roll. Um, 
Yeah, so that's a pretty impressive damage number. Uh, competitive players, don't worry, the number is going to be. Yeah, well, what runes does he have? He's got spellbreaker runes. It's not even scholar. Three hundred seventy-five. Spellbreaker is pretty good too. I guess players who have about twenty thousand health, probably not the best idea. It depends uh, on which one of those people you are. It, it does yeah. depend, so that's going to be a little I bit hate different. It. <laughs> it's also <laughs> not Zerka, kind of by the way, guys. I'll just go back to, uh, kind of go back to normal here to get rid of all those extraneous buffs. But <laughs> the key thing to note here is that this scales exponentially with the number of charges. Uh, so if I fire this up very quickly after, we're going to see, okay, that only did that like 2,000 damage because it was only a single charge. It's going to be fun in World Bus as well. And then once you get into kind of the latter few. Uh, charges of the skill, you're going to see a much larger exponential ramp. And this is actually governed by a really nonsensical um, third order polynomial equation that has some interesting coefficients, and there's some words um, about math. It's CMC bringing the math today. So, Not uh, only is he counting to 100, he also talks about the third order polynomial. Says, okay, here's how much damage you're supposed to do. And he is on the result is a large number at higher charges. Makes sense. Okay, so. Outside of like you know memes, damage, high numbers, that's Dragon Slash. Maximum force. damage so forty seven thousand kind of tooltip. Surest damage version of Dragon Slash. This does the most Unblockable, damage. by the way. And actually. we also have kind Unblockable, of the next two different by the way. Like boost. Uh, Dragon <laughs> Slash. Reach. Wait, Unblockable so is boost of is gonna have kind of Yeah, because of a trait. Yeah. We saw this in the, in the preview video. That's going to do a bit less. Only one hundred nineteen thousand damage. <laughs> Obviously, I don't have like the super collection of PV buffs anymore. Only. Um, but similarly. Damage is going to fall AOE. off. Damage is going to fall off even more for Reach, which is going to be the ranged version, and this is going to fire off. Oh, ranged version! Whoa! Can hit up, line it up, hit a bunch of targets, but the damage is significantly lower because there is, you know, less uh, less risk into using this skill. Ha! <laughs> Dude, the sound and effects are so good. You see a couple of skills in here that are not Dragon Slashes, and the idea is that you're kind of forced into this stationary, the stationary gameplay, so you're very susceptible very easy to run away from as well. So we have Trigger Guard here, just going to give Aegis. Okay. Mitigate an incoming Whoa. attack. Aegis. Nice, Pretty nice. reasonable. And then secondly, Ooh. we're going to have Flicker Step. Blink. And so Flicker Step is teleport a very, hack. very short distance teleport. It's not going to be as exciting as Mesmer Blink or Lightning Oh, dude, this is some like weeb that. stuff. But it gives you just <laughs> a little bit of extra dude, it teleports you behind, you. behind you. Behind you the whole time. Yeah. Nothing yeah. personnel, <laughs> kid. <laughs> I think Renji's gonna main this, dude. I think so Renji mains this. Does Renji main this, guys? I think he does. Oh, that's the that's all the profession stuff. Really cool stuff. I recommend having equipment. Uh, what does the auto attack do? Like just uncharged. Abilities. Just a ta uh, base yeah. attack. Yeah. Obviously, you don't need it. Like we're still hitting for what 25k without any equipment. That's pretty solid. Dude, this is a lot of skills, then, right? Uh, so you have the gun blade, the weapon gun skill, and one thing, and then you have the dragon trigger skills, skills too, right? Because it is kind of this mandatory weapon. You always have to have this equipped. <clears throat> it's going to be a little bit flexible. It's not going to be like a hard glass cannon weapon. It's not going right. to be anything too. That's kind of, that sounds scary, actually, anything. right? If it's flexible, it is very much a, it's a scary weapon. weapon. As we're also going to see on the pistol. Um, but it is going to be a little bit more flexible because we're going to have some some range. We're going to see a little bit of defense, a little bit of mobility. One thing I don't Just like is that game, if I have like a legendary uh, greatsword, kind of I won't be able to like see combo. it because I'll have to see the this kind of skin always. Yeah. Maybe you'll be able to skin over it. Explosion skill fact on a few other um, oh. blade sword skills as well. There's going to be probably traits. Yeah, traits on the character. Explosions, so yeah. some of the damage gets moved from the actual strike into that secondary kind of explosion mechanic. Moving on into next, Blooming Fire. This one's going to be, again, more damage. Okay, Nothing AOE too crazy. Stuff. Melee range, you can move all you cast this. A little bit of extra extra reach as opposed to some of the skills that with similar behavior where they kind of cast Dude, in place. imagine being a will bend domain and seeing this. Moving You're actually crying. Yeah. Slash You're actually in crying. shambles. Yeah, Nothing you are in totally shambles. Totally in shambles. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I have light, I still have light no, specialist. Pretty good. So you saw pretty the good. Immobilized there, but that's not baseline of the skills. Just a cripple. So a little bit of chase down or a little bit more kinetic <laughs> potential, as you kind of cripple that enemy. And then we're going to get into a little more or the utility side okay. of this kit with four and five cyclone trigger. This is kind of a kind of a dual mode. Uh, Think how good this will be at KC. Physical attack as well, where dude, you cast five orb, dude, and you effect. charge it while you're while the guy's pushing oh, orbs, and closer, then he comes down, down and you just go blast. You just one shot. Hit. You saw this guy over here is a little bit out of range, so he gets the projectile attack. Everything else that's close is being attacked by the melee attack for just a little bit extra damage. And this is okay. also a projectile block. Pretty so cool skill. A good skill. Cool I like that. Like around, projectile say, block skill. Rapid shot? fire is that's incoming. Block it. Block the rapid fire. Also throw a projectile out. Deal some extra damage there. And he's all of done. By the way, guys, have these have dual step, charge. That makes them very the good. Pretty charge skills, very strong. Boots on engineer, where it's going to kind of do this blast uh, in place. 
Okay, what, what was yeah. that? Your starting location, and then Ooh. you're going to dash a little bit further. Wait, you're away. double so charging. You're kit. actually fast as fuck Pop on this build. Pop that off right before you get into Dragon Trigger and prepare your kind of yep. maximum burst yep. skill, or obviously just sets off the rest of your melee skills in the kit. Notably, you see, you guys are going to see ammunition on all these skills. Okay. We're going to see a lot more of that once we get into utilities as well. Uh -huh. Ammo is a common theme for a lot of the, the skills on this character. Here we go. Um, utils. So we're going to see some more exciting ammo interactions in the traits and also on the elite skill. So they're all ammo. Once we get there. I won't equip that one quite yet because I don't want to spoil it. It's pretty, pretty exciting, pretty powerful Dude, cooldown. We, we haven't even talked about the elite uh, skill very, yet. Very and he's skill. hiding it because it's so good. So anyway, you got, let's get into what the pistol, is this? which I don't even have equipped. Dude. That's a <laughs> minor oversight. Dude. But uh, pistol kit. Catalyst so, is going to be in six. six. It's kind of already six this pretty shots. saturated design space where you have so many options. You have shield, you have axe, you have sword, you okay. have warhorn. The list goes on and on and on because warrior has so many weapons available to them. So we're making a new warrior offhand. We want to make sure that it has kind of a unique space. Okay. And so we oh, see, use we all your armor when you use it. Axe is like damage and damage. It's just oh, the purest dude, this is super cool. So you can fire off. it at three or at six, like shield, right? Oh, that's super interesting. And CC. What a fun skill. Uh, stuff like warhorn moves into that more supporty role. Mace is kind of a mixture yeah, with yeah, yeah. CC and damage. So the pistol kit, we're going to see a bit of damage and a little bit of mobility. So kind of Very finding short that unique too. niche in between everything else that Warrior's already doing in the offense slot. Starting here with Dragon's Roar, this is the big damage payoff. So we see here six ammo. I'm going to stop cheating <coughs> cooldowns for a second here so we can see this actually has a recharge. Uh, the way this skill is going to work, it has six ammo, but the way this skill works is that it fires all of your ammunition every time you use it. So you cast it with one, you cast it with six. Oh, it's wow. going to give you a variable amount of damage. Yeah, 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 you saw yeah. that we got six separate attacks. Big damage. Because we had six ammo. So maximum damage. So it'll be really good at the start of a fight. Ammo makes sense. Uh, but you do have the opportunity or to kind the start of press of the this burst phase or something. And there's yeah, a trait yeah. that's going to give yeah. you a little bit of extra value for spending ammunition. So yeah, there might be opportunity you can fire it whenever you want. Keep pressing, like five, keep pressing five, keep yep. pressing five, every five seconds as it comes off cooldown. <coughs> and that's going to synergize really well with Gunstinger. Ages. Here's the four skill. This is a little bit of mobility. It's pretty short dash. The 300 range here is a little bit this misleading. Guys, this, more is, of a dash this range is melee pistol. Melee you know that guy, right? This is literally melee pistol. So it's going to... Space of they said it couldn't like be done. It has been done. It's melee in terms pistol. of yeah. how far away you need to be from your enemy to make sure you hit them. And so this is also going to give a little bit of vulnerability, a nice Aegis on top of that. So a and little bit a of combo. setup you get your, your, ammo back. your dash in, make sure you don't just get yeah. completely blown up, and also set up the next damage skills from the rest of your rest of your abilities. So you go five, uh, four, the yeah, five, yeah. Here then swap to your... Well, you probably go like four. two, so five, four, four five, four, five, four, five We're swap back to your... Wait a little the bit, get a sword blade. Blade, and fire that skill off again. And that's going to be kind of like the burstiest version of the combo is spend six, dash back in, spend <coughs> three, and that's a lot of from the pistol. Nine off. shots. So moving into the utility skills next, this is the armament utility type. And this is Ooh, never before seen, brand new, advigor. amazing. Um, what is an armament? It's, eh, oh. you know, the armament... Every oh, it gives we, you shots. We, we think about utility oh. skills. You know, we figure out, okay, what, what do we want to do for this character? And do we have a skill type that you, already wait, exists? Wait, you can let it expire and, and use it. Wait, that type. guys, so you know the, the whole, like, no, nice, so simple designs on Virtuoso, Harbinger, and Willbender? Uh, and so they were like, we're ah, see, it's fuck it, right, it's gone, right? They, they've completely we're unleashed. Some of these skills those were just foreplay. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Those are the joke specs. These are the real specs now. And use up all your charges to get a little bonus effect there. Or you can just kind of space them out and really <laughs> plan, be a little bit more deliberate in your decision making, and spread out the value from those ammunition skills. So starting with combat stimulant, here's the heal skill. Let's uh, take some damage real quick. Get into combat so that matters. So the way the skill works, we're going to see a smaller initial heal, and then we're going to get this buff on us called Stim State. When this expires, it's going to heal me again. There's a Ooh, big heal on me. Whoa, again. that's nice. So a little bit harder to use. You're going to want to kind of precast this a little bit earlier. Make sure you have. But you can double time use to it to get five the boots. For that to fire that's off. Super interesting as well. Alternatively, you can have the opportunity to recast. Because if anyone who was reading yeah, the tools yeah, yeah. while I was hovering on this, you see that if you cast a skill while you're already in stim state, it's going to give you boons instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have the option to you kind can of double trade off it. healing for more damage. Pops so this. Boom. Pop it immediately again. And then you get the heal again. You get the delayed heal. Very powerful offensive boons and vigor on top. Dodges are always good. Uh, but that's going to kind of lose the secondary heal of the first cast of that skill. You'll still get it from the second one, but you give up the big heal of the so first cast. In see, that is boons. what we talk so about. We want something like elixirs, right? That's a fun there. interaction. That's damage. an interesting you interaction. Maximize sustain. Just want to maximize sustain. You're probably going to 
fire this off, wait for it to go sit around here. Five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. There we go. Then pop it yeah, off that's again. That's time to take a drink. We could probably take a drink. Take a drink. Yeah. Charge Dragon Slash in that time. <laughs> uh, pretty convenient. Uh, so that's going to maximize your healing. I want to see the elite. He's hiding it. That's how disgusting it is, by the way. He's Moving literally into hiding the it. Utility Mello. skills. Okay. We have bullet he can't even barrier. show it. So this is kind of a. I mean, similar. We've seen like wall reflection in the past. This is a little bit. Oh, different. Wa so warrior like, finally has walk. reflection. And oh. the little bonus oh. line pop that tells you an explosion with a little bit of damage tacked on. Boom. So this is going to be useful oh. in those big wall fights. That is a good TV. skill. Maybe now we got an Adina skill, boys. Uh, the explosion is going to be a little bit value, a little bit of value for kind of upkeeping those threats that care about reflect. that. And similarly, it's a block. It's a block. It's not a more damage to the need. It'll still better carry it, Adina. Yeah, yeah, that's big on Adina. Yeah, it's huge damage. on but certain encounters. Here's the option. Obviously, Wolf really wanted too. both bulletproof barrier. Uh, Moving on to electric fence. So this is another one of these skills that's kind of kind of combo with itself. Where we'll throw it out here. This is going to be a. Oh, are they all like this? Like all wall. fields? It's something that we've seen with like it's Temporal kind of Curtain on Mesmer Focus. And if you actually space this properly, it will hit stationary targets. Um, more naturally, it's going to be when someone runs through this this wall, they're going to become they crippled. But if the target is already crippled, Wait, you're going to get the immobilized. That's got no so target cap. Oh, that's really back. good. Why does that have no target cap? Kind of get that cripple, and then fire it immediately again. Because it's just like Mesmer Curtain. A little bit. Less optimal. Ideally, Infinite you're going to want to get the mode from some of your other well. sources, maybe from Throw Axe, maybe from Savage Leap, because then you're I mean, going to, they have to, to already get be immobilized into immobilize uh, from these two charges here instead of having pretty to good. waste one just pretty to cripple. But a pretty, pretty decent uh, crowd control option there. Then next up, we have Flow Stabilizer. So this is the first skill that we're seeing that's going to okay. increase your flow rate. We'll see a bit more in the traits once we Ooh. get there. Ooh. Uh, basically. This is just going to give you increased positive flow, which is a useful thing to have for this character. So you can juice you up quick and basically to get to your flow as you no longer get Omega gun. from hitting. Enemies. It's a pretty long duration stub. So, so here, baseline, this is going to give me two stacks of the buff. It does take um, you a while to get. It's also going to give a little right, stability, but if you already have stability, it's going to give you a bonus, uh, bonus stack. So again, this is an option to kind of fire these off back to back. Okay. Already have stability. Fire this off again. I get three stacks for the next one. This actually stacks up to about 25. You're probably not going to be able to cheat like me when you're on live servers if you can. That's not a good thing. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> but uh, again, ideally, you're going to want to get stability from a different source, whether it's uh, your teammate gives you stab or you maybe take balance stance you, because yeah, that's going to allow you to flow. use both charges for the maximum value. But you do have the option to kind of chain these together if you feel the need to. Oh, here, here we go. Oh, wait, no. Finally, yet, we're going to get into the stun break. This is the only utility skill that is not a. An ammo skill, just because I mean we've seen kind of the danger of ammo stun breaks. Warrior already has one with Shake It Off as well, so we're a little bit worried about giving another ammo stun break. And this one's not basic gonna be skill. Ammunition, That's a basic skill. That, Wait, it recharges. recharges dragon dragon yeah, 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 yeah. standard kind of backwards. That is quite good actually. Plus evade frame. It's gonna drop a mine there that does a little bit of damage if one of these enemies was kind enough to run over it. Unfortunately, they're all stationary golems, so that's not quite an effective plan. But pretty reasonable stun break option here. Okay. Oh, and finally, we go. we're going to get to the elite skill, Ooh. which I oh kind of touched on. Oh my god, look at it. Oh. A little bit look at it. This skill's kind of crazy. Um, really, I'm on all of your professions. So, skills. how crazy can it really be? Okay. There's only one, one Wait, skill. Wait, what back is that custom? Nothing like the Harbinger Elite that we saw about a month ago with you know every moon in the game. Uh, nothing like that. <laughs> but this is a very. Every potent skill line of text. reloaded. So it says reload ammo on all of your profession skills. And what does that even mean? So in, in, any in half warrior a skill that uses the ammunition mechanic, which is most of these armor any utilities, skill? a lot of skills in the gun saber. Actually, like even For thirty axe, second cooldown, shouts, half a second. Oh, uh, axe Dragon's three, War, nice. All of these skills use ammo, and so what uh, tactical reload says is any of these skills that are not a full ammo okay. are going to get plus one ammo. <laughs> and so that is Will that go kind above of the absurd cap? because I mean we just ran through. Obviously, you could have a rifle too, which has a bunch of ammo skills. That is potentially a lot of buttons getting essentially a full Renew charge focus, back but it's every skill you have. On it. Only I like that. Cool that's a, big, a bit right? that's a good skill. <laughs> that's a good a skill. Pretty scary amount of effectively cooldown reduction to have on a single kind of single. Thirty instance. seconds. There might be but a trade really to reduce that too, by the way, guys. A bit of longer cooldowns here in the gunsaber kit. Like here's 25, 35, 40, even 40. Uh, but that is because tactical reload exists as kind of this 
option oh, to CMC chain Bounds all these did. skills together, use up all my ammunition, fire off tactical reload, fire off all my skills again, and just create this, this really potential high yeah, wouldn't burst. Yeah, that, that would recharge um, shake it off. High burst opportunity. So you can recharge your stun break and shit. So I know pretty, like, yeah. we're really excited to see how this skill plays. I'm personally a little bit scared to see like how much... <laughs> This is going to be refunding players in terms of the number of skills you get back, but it's also going to be a really fun skill to use, I think, especially once we get into some of the ammo, uh, the ammo traits, which we'll talk about a little bit later, uh, because that's all we have to talk about on wow. the profession side for the. I like this. That is, is fun. fun. Yeah, that is this is a fun spec. Yay. What a fun spec. A game um, main. And get hands on it. I'm going to uh, switch back over to the blade sworn real quick, and oh, someone's going to fill the dead air. Okay. Well, <laughs> good to know. <laughs> I just want to point out that that's not necessarily true. That's not everything to know about the Vindicator because none of us know how to pronounce that guy's name. No, actually, <laughs> I even have some some reading to do when I get yeah, home. Yeah, like today. so. Indigo was just telling me on the side that this just came up in a meeting the, the other story day. Has some work just to like, do. Story team has like, got work to do. A, a really unique, beautiful name. <laughs> I, what if, what if we just Another make drink. it canon that it is someone's? Face? He's like chugging that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the maybe person. Saying, it is, is it chugging the whole cross. bottle. The, the, we do know that. Yeah. We, we just, we'll figure. It just took me by surprise. Yeah, I got like, person. I got like seven letters in, and I was like, you know what? That's I need to see it. I'm done here. I, I would rather not than embarrass myself <laughs> trying. I'm just, eh, I'll, you, I'll, I'll take the blame. Maybe it's Carl's fault. You get used He's to it. He's not here to defend Whoa, himself. dude, Carl's getting <laughs> thrown under the bus <laughs> right now. I got the hard way that Carl's in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's gonna bust down the door. <laughs> We're sorry, Carl, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> We're so sorry. <laughs> All right, so what have we got now? Bladesworn? Oh, yeah, yeah I'm back on the Bladesworn. So. Please, God, Thanks. let us know how to pronounce everything. <laughs> Bladesworn, gun saber. All right, here we go. Again, I, don't wanna, I would not recommend this build to anybody. Just default loadout. We're getting in the traits here. Uh, so let's, again, start off with the minor traits. Dragon scale defense. It says when you're struck while you're in dragon trigger, quick uh, refresher. Dragon Easy trigger trait. is the burst stance of the gun saber. So while I'm in this stance, if I get struck, I'm going to get a little bit of protection there. Another thing, it's just another case of very immobile, very susceptible, so give a little bit of prot to the to the character there. Then moving in to the Grandmaster Damage oh, trait, Gun wait. Glory. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, a stack it's like explosion, explosion trait from Harm from Energy. Energy. So we saw a lot of explosion <laughs> skill facts across all the yeah, skills we were going those earlier. <laughs> this is going to, each time you hit with one of those, it's going to stack, <laughs> stack this duration up longer and longer and longer. Oh maintain that uh, that ferocity just for the damage. Holy bonus. shit! No big nothing deal. too crazy as usual. Minor traits. Nothing. Nothing too crazy. It's good to see. Anytime there's a crazy minor trait, I just probably do like a double take and be like, why? Why is this so complicated as a minor trait? Oh. Uh, but nothing. Nothing to see here. Healing yourself. You so let's then move into Increases the add up rate. trait slot. And so we're gonna see we're gonna see some common themes in kind of these vertical trait lines. So in the add up slot, there's gonna be a theme. In the master slot, there's gonna be a theme. Grandmaster slot's gonna have a theme. The okay. theme of the add up trait slot is increased flow rate. We talked a little bit about flow earlier. We saw one of the utility skills. This is the natural flow really or adrenaline gain for this character, so we really need to have some options available in the trait slots to increase that gain because you no longer gain adrenaline from hitting enemies. So starting with reverse flow, incoming healing increase. And also whenever you heal yourself, increases flow rate. So this is similar trigger to like incoming heals Traits that care about healing yourself, where it won't trigger off like regen ticks because it would just blow yep. out way too hard. But anytime you like use a heal skill, stuff like that, that's going to trigger this and give you that okay. positive flow buff. So if I have combo this field too, I guess. Yeah, the positive now flow re healing signet won't work, guys, because it's a regeneration so we have type. Swift as the wind. So this is movement skills grant. With water grant spirit, swiftness, and you then using also it to work? Increase. So this is going to play really well. Maybe yeah. With just warrior, warrior has a lot of movement skills. We already see value of stuff Ooh. like warrior spring, which cares about movement skills. Wow. So you can really get some value um, out of that because I think so the gun saber has some movement. More, skills more too. and more movement skills. Well, you have, so, you have two on your great sword, uh, so you can just keep yeah. perma swiftness up just with great sword. Break step, two ammo there. Hop and you out, get flow out of that like, too, the juice up. Uh, Savage leap, get some more flow, and so on and so on. Finally, we're going to have unseen sword, and so this one is going to grant you positive flow every time you swap weapons. Okay. Uh, so okay. Do kind That's of uh, short, discipline uh, still enabled, then, I guess. Discipline short, enabled. Radius, Back on the menu. Small radius kind of AOE damage attack around you, oh. and also the positive flow rate. So nothing too crazy. Just okay. another another flavor of nothing flow too crazy. Duration. I like it. Moving into the master tier slot, we're going to see rewards for using ammunition skills, and specifically the Ooh. final 
ammunition skill. Barry of a, of a on skill. So when you're down to one, okay. press an ability, this is going to give you bonus. In this case, Unshakable Mountain, Barrier. I Nothing too a, crazy. A, bear in mind, there's a lot uh, of ammo defense. skills, right? You can get defense, a, lot a lot of value out of that. A lot off. of value. Many, many skills. With you have a lot of ammo. ammo skills. And bear in mind, guys, when you reload them all, you'll have only one charge. You'll, one charge. you'll be able to get loads of barrier from that, too. Uh, we'll just demonstrate real, real quickly. There you go, a little bit of barrier there. Okay. Similarly, next up, we have Forces Fire. Instead of barrier, this is going to give you kind of an AoE strike. Even more damage. Uh, that's going to do burning and a little bit of damage. More specific, more importantly, it's going to do burning. Um, and then a little bit of damage on top of that. So just another another way to kind of get more Ooh. burst potential. Because I think kind of the most, potentially Ooh. the most powerful, the highest upside, Ooh. I think, of any of these is going to be Lush Forest and here in the any bottom. any ammo skill, by the way, says, guys. Using the final round of an ammo skill. Second, recharges man. the cooldown of all of your equip skills. So this is also just super powerful because I mean I'm not gonna but spend it doesn't so have an much time ICD. pressing all these abilities. Yeah, no to get, ICD. See the maximum value of the skill. You guys will get your hands on it. But You'll that's definitely yeah, if you chain these together really well, you can get a lot going on there, right? One second recharge Especially if you per kind of get down to one charge, you can recharge you everything. The last ammo slot up. So you can have a full oh bar of ammo, skills, a lot of shouts, a lot of rifle, and potentially get a lot of cooldown reduction from that trait. It's giving me power Chrono vibes. And then finally, we're going to see in the Grandmaster trait slot some <laughs> dragon. Heals uh, you to fall, uh, essentially. It's like a full heal. Oh, my bad work because we just use the skill type of percent But modifiers to the dragon slash. Oh my god. So starting up at the I'm top, ready. Immortal Dragon. This is going to say heal yourself for a, percent of a percentage of outgoing damage from dragon slash. That's a 30 As we saw heal. earlier, if you're hitting something for, say, 400,000 damage, 8% <laughs> looks like a lot more of a, a powerful heal than it may, it may seem on its face. <laughs> yeah. So just a little bit more of a sustain option. Take right. a lot of incoming pressure while you're charging up Dragon Slash. Get a lot of that Boom. back because you have get a it all back. Dragon slotted. Alternatively, if you just want to be super aggressive, go kind of... Uh, I guess we'll see a little bit more offense at the bottom. So this is maybe not the most aggressive. This is the most... Can't be blinded. Unblockable version of Dragon Slash. and North stuns. Blind, little stun in there, also unblockable. Wait, stun duration per charge? Yeah, so that... And wait, isn't that like a five-second stun? So that's a five-second stun. Five-second yeah. fucking stun. Yeah. Finally here in the that's bottom. Five. But could you imagine being hit by that, so though? Interesting thing like, here is that... It's got such a long charge up. You see it immediately adjusted already. Oh, wait, what does this one do? What does this one do? five times. We can still build up 100 flow, but we can only build up up to five charges. And so what that's going to mean is we get up to 100, charge it up, Oh, you're gonna, yeah, okay, you can get out, way faster. Fire that off, and if we yeah, still yeah. have flow left over, I'm a big cheater, so I always have flow left over. <laughs> so you're going to re enter Dragon Slash. Or oh, Dragon you can Trigger double. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's for yeah. sure the Whoa, PvE move right there. Double. Yeah. Uh, and with They're the, not gonna be as juicy, Slash. but you're gonna get twice. So that's that's, that's happening. Valuable for sure. PvP, potentially, because of the oh. kind of different scaling of the. Uh, the Dragon Slash buildup. We talked a little bit earlier about how it scales that very is a steep rotation. You can just, can, wait, can you just do uh, that It's a little bit then? faster and then falls off a little bit harder in PvP. If, if you play correctly, you can pretty much go a scope forever. Just by staying in place for five seconds. So it's a little bit more like upfront and a little bit more. I don't think it was cheating. It will continually give he you was cheating a bit. You charge that a little bit. So that's all of the Blades. Yeah, as long as you do it correctly. All the Blades Yeah, it doesn't have a cooldown. And we just have one more class to do here, one more profession to do here. I guess you eventually run out of Throw it back over to Ruby and Indigo again while I switch characters. All right, while well, you switch over. All right, so we're juice, looking man. at the catalyst. I mean, you re-enter it, um, Chris. You, you re-enter it, so the cooldown resets. It doesn't run out. Get back to Cal. Well, I think it's the flow that will screw you, right? The flow. You need to, the if you run out of flow, you drop out. specialization beta event next week. But, I've but, seen okay, some seriously. questions here and there about how does this, this work? How do I get in? It's open seriously, to Seriously, guys. Everyone. Well, with a guild this to is the big thing standing. here. Okay, I was going to reduce the volume a little bit. Guys, this is what we were talking about with trait design. It is so important that trait design is like this. Like, do you see how all the traits that we've seen for the Vindicator and for the Blade Swan all interact with the profession mechanic a lot and change the profession mechanic and have like really interesting gameplay and interesting changes to the way things play out? That's what I'm talking about. Now, these maybe are a little bit broken. Another no Dude, seriously, they, they're actually doing it on purpose. Like, they're literally trying to cut to CMC when he's drinking at this point. This is actually a full meme and the entire studio is in on it and I like it, right? But I've got to say, that is more like it. Now we're talking in terms of trait design and actual interesting abilities there as well, okay? That's what I'm talking about.